Guys, Weekly Piano here. So the question today is why is giant steps in augmented progression? Um, the, uh, the progression obviously is B to G to E flat, and then G to E flat to B. Um, so let's, t let's take a step back and look at what an augmented fifth is. So this is a normal fifth, right? One, two, three, four, five, just speaking in C. The one, two, three, that's a major third, and four, five is a minor third. This is a minor third, this is a major third. If you were to take this upper minor third and make it a major third, then you have an augmented fifth. An augmented fifth is a very unstable sound because there's nothing, there's nothing grounding it. When you have your fifth, it, because of the way the harmonic series is built, which is octave, fifth, fourth, third, minor third, um, and then it actually, it's not, it doesn't line up exactly as it gets higher. This is speaking just physically, when you take a string and you divide it in half, and then you divide it in thirds, and then you divide it in fourths, it goes on that sequ sequence. But um, the first, the first division that's not an octave is a fifth. And when you play a fifth, you can tell that this is the one and this is the five. If you play an augmented fifth, there's no point of reference because it's two stacked major thirds, and then if, and then by the very nature of it, another major third on top of that because an octave above C is C, so it's all major thirds. So your root could be here, or it could be here. those could be the root. So the, people often ask what key is giant steps in? And in the real book, um, I just learned the other day, it's in the real book writes it as in E flat because it ends on E flat in, the, in his final, in, in the final cadence of the song. But that doesn't really mean that it's actually in E flat. Essentially, giant steps, the tune would be atonal because there's no real key center. It starts in B. first phrase ends in E flat, but it quickly goes quickly goes back to B. And then to E flat and then to G and then to B and then to E flat again. So all that is is going up this augmented um, pattern or down and, and up this augmented pattern and doing two five ones to each of those. Which he got from a song, um, what was the tune? I get, it's the bridge to, I think, Have You Met Miss Jones? I think it's Have You Met Miss Jones, I'm not sure. But there's a, there's a, tr there's a, a standard of the time that Coltrane was playing that has a bridge that jumps in augmented thirds. Some people say he got it from that, who really knows? Um, so the song doesn't have a, t a solid tonal key center because it is just moving around in, uh, in, in an augmented, I mean, it would, what would essentially be an augmented fifth, but then the divisions thereof, which are all major thirds. Cool. I hope that helps explain the nature of giant steps. Um, stay tuned for more videos. <laughs>